Hi everybody, it's Thomas here from Thomas Fitzgerald Photography and today in this video I want to talk about how to round trip a RAW file from Lightroom to any application. So this is kind of a nerdy tip but it's actually a really useful thing to understand. So here's the premise. You're using Lightroom as your main way of organizing your photos but you want to use some other application to edit a RAW file for whatever reason and then bring that result back to Lightroom. So normally if you want to use another application to edit an image, you basically right click on it and go edit in and then select your application. But what this will do is this will actually send a JPEG Photoshop file or a TIFF. So what happens if you want to send the raw file? Now, some applications actually have a plugin for doing this, but if you're using something else and you want to send the raw file, there's actually a fairly straightforward workflow for doing this. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to do that. So the first step is sending your raw file to another application. Um, and it's actually quite easy. So to give you an example, I am going to use Affinity Photo. So the first thing you want to do is launch the application that you're going to use. So in this case, it's Affinity Photo. And I'm just going to open this. Okay. And then I'm going to send this photo here. So just go back to the grid view in Lightroom and all you have to do is literally drag and drop it onto Affinity Photo. Because when you drag and drop a file from Lightroom to another application on the dock or um, in Windows, I presume this works for <laughs> Windows as well, um, it actually sends the raw file rather than a flattened version. So as you can see in Affinity Photo here, it's opened up the raw file in Affinity's develop mode. Um, and I'm just gonna make a few adjustments here, just so that you can see that I've done something. Shadows, maybe a bit of clarity, a bit more contrast, maybe just the overall exposure. I'm not trying to make this beautiful or anything, I'm just purely demonstrating this. Okay, so I'm gonna hit develop. So now, once this has done this, so Affinity Photo has this file now um, and we've used Affinity's RAW engine rather than Lightroom's and say we want to send this back to Lightroom. So how do we do that? Now it's actually very straightforward. All we have to do is save it in the same folder as the original image. So if I go save as and I'm going to pop this out so we have all the different options. Um, you can see it's defaulted the documents folder and it's not actually where we need it to go. So I'm gonna show you how to quickly find the um, correct location. But there's another problem as well is if I go save as, it's going to save it in Affinity's format and that's no good. So what we actually want to do is export. So I'm gonna cancel that and jump back over to Lightroom. And to quickly find where the original image is, just right click on it and go show in Finder. Okay, so here we have where the file is located. And I'm gonna come back to that in a second. So we go file, export. Okay, and we want TIFF. And just for maximizing everything, we'll save it as a 16-bit. And then we'll go export. Okay, and again, you can see it's basically, it's default to the documents folder. Okay, and that's no good. So. If I go back out to here to the finder, you can see if I hover up here, we will get the little proxy icon. Um, and what I can do is, this is a little tricky. So if I hover up here again, and I just drag that folder in there, and now we're on the right folder. And just basically save it. You can name it if you want. I'm just gonna hit save. So it'll save it as a TIFF file. Okay, and then if I pop back over to Lightroom, so now here's the trick is, first of all, we wanna make sure we're in the folder view, and in this case I am, but if you're not, just right click on the file and go go to folder in library. And then all you have to do is right click on this and go synchronize folder, and this will import any new versions that you've done. And because I've been practicing this, there's actually three versions, so you can choose the option to show the import dialog if you want. I'm gonna leave that off and just hit synchronize. So now that's actually gone back to the same folder. So if I go back here again, and you can see our edited TIFF is now beside the original. So 
It's a little bit involved, but it's not actually a huge deal. If you were to do this manually by exporting the raw file first to a temporary folder and then going editing and then exporting back to another temporary folder and importing, it's a lot more steps. Whereas this is actually, once you get the hang of it, it's actually fairly straightforward. Um, a couple of tips, if you are doing this on a lot of images, um, edit all your images first, export the versions, and then do your synchronizing folder last. Um, the other thing to remember too is if you're using something like say Affinity Photo and you have lots of layers and stuff in here, if you save this, uh, if you export this as like a JPEG or a photo file, you're going to lose some information. So it's always worth backing it up as a native format as well. So in this case, an Affinity Photo format. But that is pretty much it. That is kind of how you round trip back and forward from Lightroom to any application that uh, will open a RAW file. Um, I've been doing this on a Mac. Uh, the process might be a little different on a PC. Unfortunately, I don't have a PC to try it, but I think most of this should work. Um, yeah, so that is pretty much it. I hope you have found this useful. If you do, please like, share and subscribe. And thanks for watching and we will see you in the next video.